if you look at the national uh, statistics on mortality and that, you know, it, it's, uh, this is where the, the neurologists get all excited. They say the mortality is 2.3%. And, and I don't, you know, I, I don't dispute this. I just think that, you know, I've not had a mortality. Uh, have I had a neck hematoma? Sure. I've not had a seizure. Uh, the things I actually worry a little bit more about is, you know, traction on the hypoglossal nerve. So they have a little bit of tongue weakness. Uh, 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 and then obviously having a, uh, and some kind of a, a, a TIA or embolic event while you're doing the procedure. With carotid endarterectomy, the risk is actually greater for having a heart attack than it is for having a stroke. So all of my patients, I get uh, uh, evaluated preoperatively by our, uh, by our cardiologists. And that was the difference between when they looked at uh, endarterectomy versus stenting. Uh, this, uh, I, I just wanna say, uh, is the article that I was referring to uh, in 95 with ACAS, where asymptomatic carotid stenosis of 60% showed that it was beneficial. Uh, uh, you'll, you'll be able, you can look these all up. That's why I put the, the abstract and the, and the titles in for you. Uh, uh, the asymptomatic embolization for prediction of stroke talks about the use of transcranial Doppler uh, to predict who might be at higher risk, even though they don't have severe carotid stenosis. This is an example of a patient who obviously didn't make it uh, in time for their carotid endarterectomy. And you can see here that they have you know, a, a high grade stenosis right here. And then they have a string sign, you know, going up distal to the internal carotid artery. And uh, the patient presented, this is on the right side, presented with left-sided weakness. And an NIH stroke score of 14, you know that zero, zero to one is the best, the higher you go, the worse. And after <clears throat> this was a patient that underwent a, an embolectomy, uh, to do the embolectomy, they have to do balloon angioplasty, uh, which flow, uh, improved the flow uh, in the uh, uh, internal carotid artery. But you can still see that there was this local dissection uh, here uh, at the origin of the uh, internal carotid artery. So a uh, stent was uh, placed across the origin and now you can see that the vessel is acutely dilated. And with the emboli embolectomy, we've taken it from a string sign with no flow to uh, a, completely, uh, uh, a completely patent middle cerebral artery. Uh, the patient was discharged uh, in post-operative day three with an NIA stroke score of, of, of one. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from neurosurgerytraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.